Naomba lisisitize yafuatayo. Na kwanza sekta zote za usika na utekelezaji wa shughuli za usimamizi wa maafa. Hii ni pamoja na idara au taasisi za jukumu la kisheria la kutekeleza kazi hiyo au ina ujuzi unaofaa zaidi kuhakikisha kuwa zinawajibika kamilifu katika kushughulikia dharura iliyotokea ni lazima zijipange vizuri. Mbili pamoja na uwepo wa sera na sheria ya usimamizi wa maafa na nyaraka ambazo zitazinduliwa leo ambazo zinalenga kuimarisha mifumo ya uwajibikaji kwa kila sekta na jamii na ushirikiano katika kutekeleza afua hizo bado tunao uwezo wa kudhibiti majanga yanayosababishwa na shughuli za kibinadamu kwenye maeneo yetu hivyo basi sote tuwajibike katika kuelimisha umma wa Watanzania namna ya kukabiliana na majanga na kusimamia kikamilifu utekelezaji wa nyaraka hizo kwa mfano uwepo wa mifugo mingi kuliko uwezo wa vijiji vyetu halmashauri yetu mwisho wanaharibu mazingira wanasababisha ukame ukame utaondoa mvua na wananchi hawezi kupata maji tayari maafa sasa kama tujafika huko kukosa maji ni muhimu sasa taasisi idara ambazo zinawajibika kudhibiti maafa zikachukua hatua mapema kabla ya majanga haya yajitokeze kwa tafanya tathmini ni aina gani ya majanga yanaweza kutokea kwenye maeneo yetu yanasababishwa na nini ili tudhibiti hivyo visababishi kabla hali hiyo haijaanza kukithiri tatu nitoe rai kwa watanzania wenzangu tuwe sehemu ya watendaji wakati wa dharura zinapotokea badala ya kusubiri tuanze kulaumu wale wenye nguvu na wenye uwezo wa kusaidia wajitokeze kuunga mkono jitenda za serikali badala kuwa watazamaji tu nataka nitoe mfano wa ina ajali ya ndege pale Kagera ndege imetokea walikuwa jirani wakakimbilia kila mmoja akaona atafuta namna kuokoa hata kugonga tu lile ndege watu wakajua kama huko nje kuna watu wameshafika wakabudu kufungua mlango na kutoka nayo pia ni sehemu ya msaada na wakaingia kutoa toa mizigo na kuwatoa wale ambao wameshindwa kupata hewa ya kupumua na kupoteza maisha ili kuwapeleka nje tuweze kuwatambua ni kazi iliyofanywa na wale walioko pale jirani lakini pia tukaanza kupata msaada na makampuni ya ujenzi kuleta makatapila kujaribu kuivuta ndege wakaleta mawichi makubwa kuja nyua ndege na raia wengi walikuja pale kusaidia kuhifadhi miili haya ndio mambo ambayo tunataka tuone wa Tanzania wenzangu tuwe sehemu ya uokozi kwenye pale popote ambako wanatokea maafa ni wahakikishie kuwa sehemu ya awamu ya sita kwa upande wake itaendelea kuimarisha mbinu na mikakati ya makusudi ya udhibiti wa athari zinazotokana na maafa pamoja na usimamizi wa utekelezaji wa sera sheria na mikakati ya usimamizi wa maafa nchini kote on behalf of the united nations i would like to express our appreciation for the government proactive initiative in developing these critical frameworks it demonstrates a strong commitment to investing in systems for preparedness mitigation and response that will that will be essential for adapting to climate change and managing the impact of health crisis in addition we believe that the development of these frameworks will help to ensure that the most vulnerable population protected from the impacts of disasters these investments will also be essential for maintaining development gains and the long term economic growth trajectory of the country honorable guests of honor ladies and gentlemen we acknowledge the need for the united nations and its partners to work together to support national efforts and prioritize actions for strengthening national systems for emergency preparedness and response the scale of this challenge requires a recognition of shared responsibility 
collaboration among all stakeholders will be necessary for pooling resources and expertise to assist the government in achieving its objectives. We encourage partnership between all stakeholders, including private sector, international, international organization, and civil society, to ensure that all stakeholders maximize their contribution to implementing these strategies and plans. Ladies and gentlemen, in collaboration with other partners, the United Nations and its partners recently concluded a joint analysis with government counterparts in mainland and Zanzibar under the Capacity for Disaster Reduction Initiative in short cadre. The outcome of this exercise is currently being reviewed together with government and will provide the basis for formulating programs and priorities investment by development partners for the implementation of the National Disaster Risk Reduction Strategy. We look, for, we look forward to further engagement on this initiative over the coming month. The United Nations seeks to promote risk-informed development to help realize the, the objectives of the Sustainable Development Goals and the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. Specifically, the UN works with country partners to strengthen national and subnational policy and legal and institutional frameworks 